Hello VR Focus, I'm joined by Kelly Bailey of Indemo Labs, welcome. Hi. So thank you for speaking to us today. Um, many of our viewers will know you already from uh, the work you did on Half-Life, um, but could you tell us a bit more about your new project, uh, Vanishing Realms? So I've been working on a VR game for the last seven months since I got my, my dev kit, and uh, I just really wanted to build uh, an RPG. I'm just kind of a big D&D nerd from when I was a kid, and I just I wanted to build an RPG, so that's what you guys played. So this is a solo project, is that right? It is right now, yeah. It sort of started as an experiment that took on a life of its own. So. And what challenges did you face from going from a traditional console background to obviously making a VR game? Um, PC games, especially sort of flat screen PC games where you're doing a first person game, um, it's already sort of challenging enough to, to build a game that's 3D, but then when you take a person, like an actual person, and stick them inside your world, it's people do really chaotic, crazy things. So that's a big challenge, like just kind of getting your game to still function and read while you've got somebody in there moving around. So how many different areas are there to explore within the game? Uh, right now, the initial chapter, I'm calling this chapter one, it takes about an hour and a half to two hours for people playing at a at a pretty casual pace. And I couldn't really, I'd say probably 15 to 18 different areas in the first one. Are you working on any other VR projects alongside this? This is all I've been doing <laughs> for seven months. So yeah, I'll continue working on this and uh, the next chapter shouldn't take nearly as much time. So the thing we want to know is when will this be ready to launch? So you'll be able to get this on Steam, on Early Access. And will it be available on any other platforms in the future? Uh, as far as, you mean like VR platforms? Uh, anybody who has track controllers, um, and I'm just writing this to open VR, so should be should be good to go. And have you had a chance to look around the other games on, on offer today? I have been stuck in that room all day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite VR game or VR experience? Um, I don't know, I like a lot of them. I mean, I don't really have a favorite specifically, and obviously I've been super focused on just getting this game ready for the show, so. That's completely understandable. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Sure, my pleasure. Don't forget you can keep up to date with everything that's happening with Vanishing Realms and more on vrfocus.com.